Hello everyone and welcome back to MEM 220 uh, lecture number 8 uh, Let's continue today what we uh, started last week about assembling uh, Last week I gave you uh, two training models uh, which we, I teach you uh, the basics of assembling uh, It was easy assembling way Today let's go for more professional stuff so today uh, my goal of the lecture is to teach you uh, how to use flip extruded cut which is this one uh, in order to make a nut all bolts like this one uh, how we can how, when where we can apply this uh, extruded flip extruded cut to make these parts look this part which is curved part of cutting a bit so plus uh, I will teach you how to use exploded exploded view to show the part in this assembled situation uh, you know I mean some of the catalog or even in YouTube uh, sometimes they show you how you ask you can assemble the parts uh, step by step using a video animation and also they show you the disassemble I mean view of that uh, uh, object uh, I will teach you how to do this and how to add exploded line as well uh, plus uh, I will teach you how to put limitation during assembling uh, because some of the part uh, it's not enough only to make assembling uh, for example when I rotate something if I want only to rotate from 0 to 180 degree, in this case I need some limitation. But usually for rotation, usually solid work, for example, if you remember previous week training model, we have some type of this uh, gripper and one arm you can rotate in this way. So this is 360 degree, but if I want to put some uh, limitation, I can put actually in the assembling uh, steps. And I will teach you how to add tangent relation. So today our training models, which is this one, uh, it's three parts, uh, nut and bolt and the main part, which is basement, we will assemble. And this is, can you, if you can see, it's exploded view. Exploded view, so it's the view which you can uh, see the all details of the part and the connection, the way of connection using this exploded line. This one, this, and this, and this. Next model, which is this one, uh, actually is easy model to assemble, but I will teach you here how to put limitations. So I want this arm to rotate from here up to this part here. From here up to this part here. So it's from 0 to 800, uh, 180. So please, guys, open your solid work and let's start together. Okay, guys, uh, first let's have fine, new, and then I choose the part. After that, I will uh, select the top plane, top plane from here. So I will select top, then sketch. Then I will go for let's say corner rectangle from the original but as I told you at in each lecture the system should be MMGS so it will be from here original randomly you can go okay I will close my camera in order, in order to let you focus on the solid work itself so then you can give a dimension of 100, 100 to 60. It's very easy object to be designed. Then after that we have here six holes. If you want, you can uh, you can design this first by extruded bus using this this one here. Then after that you can uh, do another sketch, then which is a cylinder or circle. Then you can cut it. But in order to uh, gain the time, I will just draw one sketch. Then I will go for extruded bus. So in this sketch, I will also draw here the circle, which is this one. 
I will draw the circle. So, so before drawing the circle, let me put fillet here because if you remember in this training model, we need here fillet. So I will go fillet, which is this one. So this is 10 millimeter. I go only click on this point on the corner of rectangle. Okay, then after that I will click OK. Then after that I go this circle. I will start from this point, from this point, randomly. Then give a diameter of diameter of 10. 10. Then after that I need six of them. So I can go linear sketch pattern, linear sketch pattern. I choose this one. I select the object to be increased. So it's this one. In X direction, I need two of them actually. In Y direction, I need two of them. But it's not in this direction. It will be flipped. So I will push this arrow. Here, reverse direction. Here, reverse direction. Then the distance between each of them is 40. And on Y direction, also, it will be 40. So, I will click OK. Then everything is ready to be extruded. Then I go features, extruded bus. I go 10 millimeter of thicknesses and then I will push OK. Look, we design the object using only one step. But actually, if you want, you can do it in two steps as well. It's up to you. Then after that, let me give one color to this. Let's say green. Then I say OK. I will save this object as part okay part number 11 and then I will close the window okay guys let's start now to design the bold and nut I open new file parts So I will start, start first with the uh, bolt to be designed. So I will go top plane, sketch, then normal circle. I will draw the circle, random circle. Uh, sorry for this mistake. I mean, it's not a circle because I will start with the hexagon. Uh, the bolt head is hexagon. So I will undo this one, undo this one. Uh, you can start from top plane. Uh, then go to this polygon polygon then the polygon parameter it's written here six actually you can put whatever you want hexagon triangle square anything here I mean it depends on what do you want to draw for me for us we need hexagon so I will put six and then I will start from this line from this point then this is the hexagon hexagon uh, I will give the diameter of this as 15 millimeter then using feature extruded bus we can give a thicknesses of 5 millimeter here 5 millimeter then I say ok then control 7 so this is the front let's say the upper part and we have also this back part so from back part i will select this back part then sketch because i will draw the remain remain part of the bolt which is cylinder so i will go circle here from origin i will go 
random circle then I will give a diameter of 10 millimeter then after that using feature extruded bus we can give a length of 30 millimeter so I can say okay you can see this is the head of hexagon and this is the arm of hexagon control 7 then the most interesting part for this lecture is how to make the curving cut here so actually it's not so much difficult but it has some kind of trick so I will select first this uh, face then sketch control 8 then I will draw a circle draw a circle from this origin up to the end of hexagon edges then I don't need to give any di the diameter then directly go to features directly go to feature so from feature I go extruded cut then the normal cutting the normal cutting the normal cutting look it will cut inside the circle line right but for us we need to cut th these parts which is here outside of circle which is this one this one this one right so in order to do that I will flip side to cut which is this one flip side to cut then the, it will not be cut in, inside it will be cut outside from here then using this draft I can click here I can give the whatever angle I want so I will give 45 degree 45 degree of angle then you can see nothing will have nothing will be seen here when I say okay look it will be cut it what is the technique or trick I draw a circle then I cut it from outside not inside I will cut it from outside with some angle with some angle so I will repeat this action on the nut so you can see more clearly here only the ball so I will uh, save it this save it so part 11 2 close then I can open new file choose this part then I will repeat what I teach you uh, in the bolt so but here to design the not actually so this is the top plane I choose it sketch then hexagon or polygon with parameter of 6 is become hexagon I will start from this origin up to here then give a diameter of okay sorry Ando so it's diameter of 15 same of the bolt then feature extruded cut I can give a thickness of and then I will click OK here OK then uh, before we start to design this uh, outlet cutter out, out cutting I will just open hole here in inside because this is not this is not uh, in order to let the bolt uh, enter this hole so I can right click sketch then control 8 I go very random circle but what is the diameter of this circle it will be same as the cylinder diameter of the bolt which is 10 millimeter then I go feature extruded cuts 
through all through all then okay now the not almost ready so just i need to cut these edges to be curved so i will select this face sketch control 8 then i will draw circle from this point up to the end here okay then i go directly feature directly feature extruded cut and as i told you you should not cut inside of this circle i need to cut these outside parts so i will go flip to cut then i will give angle of 40 degree 45 degree then i click ok and the dot is ready for assembly so i will save this as well actually this one and then i will close this file now let's go for the assembling uh, which is new we will assemble all the part together so the insert component window will be open automatically i will go for browse i go to the directory of where i design the part i will click control and while clicking control i will select this this and this and then open the first component to be inserted it will be the main component which is fixed and the other will be float so actually i need two of them from this so i can go insert components browse to add this one which is this it's possible but if you want to copy paste easily as i teach you previous week you can click control i think you can hear the voice while clicking control just drag and drop drag and drop so i will just today uh, fix these two parts using only two bolt so first of all i will make these two so the first mating is this part this face with this face while pushing control you should select these two faces then i go to mate then first relation it will be coincident i will click ok then look it's now at the same ok so now what is the next one it is it's here this inside cylinder with this cylinder here i will click ok then look it can be rotate in this way Ah, oh, sorry i mean there is some mistake uh, it should be not like in this way i just choose wrongly okay so i will select because this is the fixed part and this is the movable part so this is fixed so i will choose this cylinder with this one ah, now it's it's become okay just i did mistake because the uh, confused between the fixed and movable part then the next one is look this cylinder and this cylinder and i say okay then the two parts are fixed let's click okay in order to go out of this window then let me show you uh, for sure you can continue if you want but i will show you uh, how to make from beginning so i will select this one control while pushing control i will go for this cylinder 
then mate then the window will be open concentric relation then click ok but still this is not correct so in order to make it correct we need to select this face and this face it will be nice now then again same idea this cylinder with this cylinder and I say OK but see it can go up and down so I will give the next relation which is this here or let's go to another technique I can choose this edge with this edge as well also it's possible I told you there are many techniques of mating then now we have the knot remained here so first of all I will choose this cylinder inside inner cylinder with this one okay but I will flip direction look I don't want to make it in this direction I will make it in other direction I think also I teach you this previous week and then okay then it can go up and down I don't need to have this undesirable movement I will choose select this face with this face then okay then look it can even rotate uh, another knot it will be this inner cylinder with this cylinder then flip anti-aligned then I click OK mm -hmm. then I mean it can go up and down then after that I choose this edge for example with this edge and then all the assembling has been done in order to go out uh, to quit this window I just click again this OK button control 7 in order to make it isometric view now guys uh, the most interesting part of today's lecture is how to make exploded view actually if you go see I mean this assembly tab and you look at this icon it's written exploded exploded view I will click here then one new window will be opened then look now every step every movement you did it will be recorded for animation so first let me for example push here and then what XYZ axis will be appear so I can go up because logically it should be in Y direction of movement right so look this is exploded step number one then if I choose another part and I move it here then this is exploded step number two then look this is the, the nuts I will go Y direction this way so this is exploded step number three and I will choose here this another knot and then I go down then this is exploded step number four then I can move this part as well okay just in order to teach you another direction, not only Y, for example, you can do this this way, look, in X direction as well. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Look, but I will have another step. If you want to delete any step, you can just right click and delete. You can delete. Or even you can edit the step. If I'm sure that all my movement is correct, then I can click OK button then the object is in this assembled situation so how I can make it in assembled situation again I can go from here 
configuration manager which is this one then look assembly one here i can open look then exp view one is written so if you double click then it will be assembled again okay now how i can show how can i show the animation is very easy actually again from in this configuration extruded view then right click on here right click animate collapse look it will be animated exactly in the same steps you did in the design it will not be in different steps so if you want to edit these steps you can go to edit step later on So I think many of you saw this type of animation in the YouTube or maybe in some fair, some exhibition uh, of those, for example, engine part assembling or big CNC, those machines. So it's same idea here. If you want to save, even you can here save the animation as well. Okay. Even you can make it faster way. Okay, let me close. Now, uh, last step remain for this object, which is, look, exploded line sketch. But if I'm in this situation, it will be not easy to, uh, for not easy to make the line in the older version of solid work but um, uh, if you have new version of solid work directly it will be in this assembled situation some of the uh, solid work version if you are in assembly mode this i mean this this will be gray color but for us it's a new version of solid work just only if you click it's automatically automatically it will open this window so guys uh, now uh, what is this exploded line this is the line you put in order to teach the other engineer or other students or anyone who, uh, how to assemble those for example i will click here cylinder then it will come to here then it will come to this then to this right then if i finish all the steps to connect then i click ok this is first line another line here from here to here to here to here i know uh, that it's not so much uh, let's say arrange because i did this extra movement on the x direction in order just to show you the animation actually you don't need to do it that, that, like that you can do it only in y direction it's up to you just how do you want to show the customer the way of connection so then if i finish everything i click ok then i have the object is ready if you want to delete anything just uh, click here you can delete all the line because it's only line it's only line at the end as i told you uh, you can just only come from here assembly exploded line exploded line exploded line this one here okay guys now uh, i will add extra one step let me save this uh, but i feel that here is not so much good so i want to delete those i don't feel it's too much correct so let me redesign only this line in order to make it more clear so i will go here exploded view assembly exploded line Then I will connect this item 
this item, this item, uh, this item. Then let's see now. Yes, now it's more beautiful to see. Then I will save. I will save as assembly three. Then please close this one and let's go for technique uh, for technical drawing. So I will open file new, then drawing. I will choose A3, A3 format. So guys, even in the final exam, I need uh, all the object to be projected on the A3 uh, paper. So here you can go browse. Uh, assemble number three then you can put the object here in with different features for example I will put it with a scale of one to one I don't know maybe it's big a bit let's try now for example if I put it like that uh, sorry it's not this way this is the front view actually I don't need front view so I can just click here and I can select isometric then it will be in this shape this is disassemble exploded view if I want it to be in assembly view look show in exploded or model break state if I click here it will be in assembled mode this is in exploded mode assemble and exploded mode so let me add another one from this view layout model I will choose this same assembly but now it's isometric isometric solid object then it will be one to one yes now this is assembled I don't want to be assembled I need uh, this assemble sorry I need to be in assemble way so I click here then look I will have two different shape one right side is the colored or solid shaded with uh, in assembled situation left side is uh, exploded view with this even exploded line in order to show the details then let's go more interesting part which is this annotation you can add what is called this auto ballon and then the solid work will add these balloons automatically to the object you design which is this number one number two and number three it will not be added to this 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 because this is copy paste only from the original part uh, okay uh, and also you can go to this insert So insert tables bill of materials so he say he select a drawing view to specify the model so actually I need this and then one window will be open there is some features but it's very easy so I can say just okay look bill of material it will be appear here the item number is one for example this number one the part number is part 11 as we save it in the directory then you can even here put some de description and the quantity which is two so then you can save this as drawing as drawing here and then our uh, let's say first part of the lecture is be done close all of this and let's start with the training model number two so guys let's go for the second part of our uh, lecture which is the how to put limit so I will go a bit faster for this uh, I will design the model because the most important for this uh, 
section is to teach how to make limitation. So I will go front sketch. Then I will draw these objects. So I will go from here to here randomly, then to here, then to here. Then I need to have here some circle. So I teach you previous week how to make this easier just to go back to this point and then look automatically you will have the circle. Then I will go this direction up to here then up to here. Then I will teach you today uh, one relation which is tangent. I will just select this line and this circle together and I will add the relation it's called tangent between the circle and the line look and the other one is already tangent when I design so these two of them now is tangent so this tangent with this this tangent with this so I will give the uh, dimensions so this is 150 uh, don't forget this is MMGS format. So and this height is 40. The circle radius it will be 30. Yes, and this is already 40. It should be also 40. Same. So. Between this point and this point, I need a height of 30. Okay. So the design is finished now. And let's go for feature extruded bus. And I will give a thicknesses of 80. Okay, now I need to cut here in the middle and I need also one cylinder here in this way. So what can I do? I can choose this face and then sketch, control 8. Then I will draw very random rectangle from this line up, here, up to the up very randomly. Just I will show you what happened. It will be this shape. Look. It will be this shape. So I will cut it up to the end. So, but how much is the dimension? It will be 30. Guys, I'm going faster a bit in order just to gain time. So 30 minus 80, it will be 50. So up to here, it should be 25 to be equal. Yes, then this is automatically it is 25. Then I will go feature, extruded cuts, throw all. I can show you what's happened. Look, I am cutting in this way. This is the idea of cutting. So I will cut it. Then final step, I will choose this phase, sketch, then control 8. I will go circle. Just select this arc, then one black point it will appear. Just start from here and go random circle. It will be radius of 30. Then I will cut through all using these features extruded cut. I will cut through all. Look. Then OK. Then 
Now, first object is ready. First object is ready. I will give some color for this object. Let's say it's Then I will say OK. OK, after you finish this, you can save the object. So, part 11. Then close this window and let's continue the design. New parts. Now I will start to design the bolt actually, which is not bolt, actually only the connection is cylinder. So I will go from top plane, sketch, then normal circle from the original. With smart dimension, I can give diameter of 30. Then features extruded bus, I can give height of 80. Then OK. Control 7. I will save this object as part. OK, close this window and then let's open new file again. Part. Then from top plane, sketch, I will this go for central rectangle from this original. Then I will give a dimension of 80, 80 to 50. Then after that, we will design the arc here. So I will start from this point up to this and then, oh sorry, it's not this one. I will go circle, circle from this point up to here. Then also from original point here up to here then I will delete all the extra stuff so using this trim entities I can delete this 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 yes now the object is ready let's go to feature extruded bus I can give a thickness of 30. This is actually the arm which it will be assembled inside the first object. Then after that I will choose this face, sketch, control 8, circle, then I select here, then black point will appear. So I will start from here, same for this. black point will appear so I will give a dimension of this is diameter of 30 and same for the other circle is diameter of 30 then using features extruded cut cut through all I can cut the objects. So I will give some color. So let's say green maybe. I will save the objects. 
as part 3 and then I will close the window now our important uh, part started I will assemble and put limitations so a new assembling so browse then you can select the last three parts we design so first part this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part okay so this is movable part and this is fixed okay so first of all i will select this control and this one and then mate I will give a relation of coins concentric but look it will keep moving this way so the other will be here this face and this face and then I will say okay okay now uh, you can see here look this part can rotate 360 actually but for our design we need to let this part only move from here up to here so how we can do this thing in solid work so actually now the uh, it's not so much difficult uh, since now it's this made window is open so we can continue so the relation will be at added between this plane and this plane right so I will select this plane and this plane okay then after that after that we can go to uh, advanced mate advanced mate then we can choose this angle angle so we can put here this minimum value which is zero and 800 180 okay okay then let's say okay look now the object only can rotate from 0 to 180 0 to 180 I will show it again let me close this window I will delete the last one which is this limit angle look it's called limit angle I will delete it just to show you from beginning you can select this face and this face and then I can go mate then the window will be open you can go advanced mate then I can choose even distance I can choose limitation for distance but I will choose angle so minimum angle will be 0 and maximum angle will be 180 and then I say ok then look the object can move with limitation from 0 to 180 last mate which is this one with this one i think it's easy to be done so i will choose this with this and then mate concentric then this is go, going back and forward so I will choose this select this face and this face and our object will be free Let's save our file. It will be 
symbol number four. Then our second section of the lecture has been done. Okay, guys, uh, we already designed this model. I teach you many important information how to uh, design, how to make exploded view, exploded lines, and also how to design this part, uh, how we add tangent relation, how we can add limitation to let it rotate in some limitation. Okay, thank you for listening to lecture number eight. I hope you enjoy and you get benefit from this lecture and see you next week with more interesting stuff. Bye-bye.